rooster. Come here. Good, give. Good girl, nice work, dogs. Amber. Hell yeah. Look at this. Match sat laying right here. Yeti. Good girl, Aspen. Whoa, good dog. Good girl. Nice, good to see. Good to see. So it's warm today. Not super crazy hot, but just warm enough to keep us out of the field this afternoon. But it's starting to cool down just a little bit. It's getting to be that time of day. It's about five o'clock right now. And I came back to a spot that I found where I think it's got a good mix of everything that I'm looking for. It's got a, a canyon and a, kind of a coulee that runs down through the middle of it. And up on one side is all cut wheat and on the other side is just prairie grass. And down the middle in it, there's some shrubby and stemmy type texture, some bushes, berries, things like that. So I'm hoping I'm gonna find some sharp tails and huns in here as well. I was running some stuff and it was really, really bushy and almost too bushy because all I was finding in there was pheasants. A few hunts along the way, but I came over here to check this out to try and get out of so much of that stem density and really super bushy stuff to try and get back into more sharp tails and hunt habitat. So we're gonna load the dogs up here. I'm gonna run Yeti and Aspen together on this run. It's probably gonna be a pretty good walk for the next two hours of daylight. And yeah, we're gonna see what we find. All right, it is Sunday fun day, which means everybody's favorite gun comes out today. The autoloader. It didn't take long to get into birds on this walk. Just over this next rise, a big covey of huns take flight. Yeti is on point, and Aspen had circled back behind, so my attention shifted to her a bit, and the birds got jumpy took flight, and it kind of caught me off guard. Aspen didn't get in on the covey find, but she does stop on scent when she comes across the down bird. I'm still trying to work through a few things with her, so I pick the bird up and throw it for her as a reward for stopping. Whoa! Fetch, here! Aspen, here! Good girl, here. Good girl, come on. Nice. Nice. I was just thinking about a shed. That's the number three for the trip. I was just thinking how I could see a shed laying up top here somehow. And sure enough, I walked right into one. Both Yeti and Aspen are on point now. It's a little warm, the air is pretty still this evening, so scenting conditions aren't perfect, the Yeti moves up some, and this bird ends up taking flight behind the dogs. Nice. Good girl, Aspen. Fetch here.
Good girl, Aspen. Good girl, nice work. Give, give, give. Good work, good work. Yeah, the six has got a little extra kick to him. We move up over the next hill and birds start getting up around us in all directions. More sharp tails and a big pheasant and another rooster. Two more hens. And another rooster. More sharp tails. Jesus. Young pheasant. Rooster, that is. Sun's going down, so we make the turn back to the truck, and I was really surprised to see two more vehicles parked directly next to me. I can't believe there's people that came in here and are hunting on top of me. Unbelievable. This is really just a safety concern more than anything. They had no idea where I was, I had no idea they were even there, and I ended up running into them to express this, but unfortunately, they didn't see it this way, and they were here to hunt this spot regardless. So if you ever pull into a spot to hunt and there's a truck parked there, my advice is just to move on. There's plenty of land to hunt. Right here, right in that bush. Good girl. Good girl, give. Nice work, nice retrieve, girl. We got company. Somebody decided to come in and hunt on top of us. How polite. Rooster. boy. Come on. Pheasant. Good dog. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of these pheasants. Come on, guys. The following morning, I meet back up with Justin, and we're going to run Ember and Forrest down some hedgerows. <clears throat> Justin's dog Forrest goes on point here on the other side of this row and a covey of Huns take flight and one single passes my way. Come on, Forrest, that bird. Here. Ember, here. I got one marked, I gotta go after. Come on. I knew I got a piece of that bird, so Ember and I head in that direction. Good girl. Here, fetch, here. Here. Good girl. Heel. Hey. Good girl. Give. Good girl. Good work, dogs. Come on, let's go.
We're now out with both Forrest and Yeti, our veteran dogs, and we had a pretty good run at some sharp tails and high winds. But before we make it to the sharp tails, Yeti goes on point and a covey of Huns gets up, but they get jumpy and they take flight just too far out in front of us. It doesn't take long for the dogs to go back on point just after we release them. The next day the winds have calmed back down and I get a really fun run out of Ember and it starts out with a covey of Huns taking flight at my feet. Fetch here! Good girl! Come here! Come here! Look at you! Come here! Come here! Good girl! Here! Ember, here! Good girl! Hey, here! Ember, here! Come here! Hey! Good girl! Give! Good girl! Good job! All right! Come on! One more! Good job, come here girl. Ember, here. Here. 
Good girl. Hey, right here. Come here. Here. Come here. Come here, good girl. Good girl. Nice work. Nice. Holy shit. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Ember is on point here, just next to the bush, and I get a shot at some more huns. There's a dog right there. Dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird! Come on, dead bird! Dead bird! Dead bird. This bird hit the ground running and I saw it boogie over the ridge, but Ember picks up the track and she does a really nice job here trailing down this cripple. Dead bird. If you've got a dog working a track, the best thing you can do is hang back. Let the dog stay in front of you and work. It really hurts your chances once you start walking over the track before the dog can pick it up. I was really surprised that this bird ran uphill, but like they always say, trust your dog. Good girl. Good girl. Fetch here. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Nice work. Come here. Heel. Good girl. Give. Thank you. Good job, girly. Good job. Nice. Nice work, girl. Nice work. That's cool. Ember is on point here, but the grass is really tall, so I'm struggling to find her, but the birds do take flight and give us a shot. Good girl, here. Good girl, here. Hey, give. Good girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at this. Match set right, laying right here. Pretty sweet. Ember is locked up down in this stemmy cover, and it turns out to be some pheasants. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. What's up, girlie? Is that fun? Have a good time. Oh.
I say, girl? That's pretty good run. Bird. Wait. Yeti. We're out now with my dog Yeti and Justin's dog Lady. We work through some prairie grass and circle back to some hedgerows. Yeah, it's right here. Just at the end of this row, both dogs lock up in the middle of it. I circle around to the far side and the covey takes flight right at my feet. Nice. I got one, lady's got it. I could see him running in the grass in front of me, dude. Yeah, it was wild, little waves going through the grass. Here, lady. Lady. Good girl. Give. Hey, come here, lady. Good girl. Give. Good job, dogs. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was pretty. Nope, oh, right here. Pheasant. Come on, Yeti. All right, you ready to go have a good run, little girl? You gonna go hunting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Little baby pheasants. Come on! Aspen locks into point here, but it's late in September. These birds have been hunted and they're definitely feeling the pressure. Nice. Good girl! Fetch here! Good girl! Good girl! Fetch here! And a girl! Good girl! Right here, here Aspen. Good girl, come on, right here, here. Good girl, oh that's my girl. Oh good job, good job girly. Give, thank you, good job, good job. 
Good job. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Good job. Oh my goodness. Nice work. Come here. Come here, Aspen. Good girl. That's what we've been waiting for. Good girl. Good girl. That's what we've been trying to do. You finally did it. Good job, girly. Good job. That's my girl. Three shots, three shells. Dog on point, birds getting up. One drops in front of her and she makes the retrieve. That is what I've been trying to get to this entire trip and we just haven't pulled it together. We've done it a couple times, but man, that was nice. Good job, Aspen. Well, go ahead and stick a fork in me and call me done. Like Forrest Gump at the end of the movie, I guess I'll go home now. So I think that's gonna wrap up Montana this year for 2022. Today marks day 18 of being out here. So all the dogs are ending on really good runs. Everybody is starting to, you know, hit their stride been having good runs with the dogs, getting good dog work out of everybody. And it's always fun to see the transformation or at least the progression for each dog throughout a trip like this. And yeah, everyone's doing good. I'm feeling good about the trip. And so I guess we're just gonna call it and quit while we're ahead instead of trying to scratch out a few more days of hunting when we've already had plenty of good times. And yeah, ready to get back home, ready to sleep in an actual bed again, ready to see my wife and yeah, ready to get back chasing birds and grouse in northern Michigan. So next time you see me, that's probably where we'll be at. So until then, we're going to hit the road and we'll see you guys back in the Northwoods. Welcome to Montana. Land of the wind, home of the birds. Would it really be a hunting trip if you did not forget something and then you had to also stop at a Walmart to pick up a replacement for that thing you forgot. So six hours into the trip now, got down the road and I was like, dang it, I forgot one thing. And that was my skillet this morning for cooking on. So stopped at the Walmart here in Madison, Wisconsin. And yeah, picked a new skillet real quick. We'll be back on our way. Gotta be able to eat somehow. Thank you guys for following along. If you did enjoy the Montana videos, please drop a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out a lot to support the channel. Before we end this video, I do want to go over a few things if you're thinking about heading west in the future to hunt. A lot of western states have been experiencing drought conditions the last few years. Things are very dry and it wouldn't take much for a lot of land to burn up quickly. So be conscious of where you park your vehicle, carry a fire extinguisher on you, have access to water and a pair of jeans to stomp out a fire if needed. Be on the lookout for hen pheasants when prairie grouse hunting. Their habitats do overlap and they do look similar. And two things I look for when a bird takes flight is a hen pheasant will be much darker in color and the wing flap will be a lot harder and more drawn out. If there's rain in the forecast, just hang out in town or stay put in one place. The roads get super sticky when it rains and more than likely you're going to make some deep ruts and get stuck and at that point the locals will have to pull you out and repair the road so they can get their farm equipment down it and no one's going to be happy in that situation. So just a few things to keep in mind if you head west. Other than that, have fun. That's what we're here to do. Good girl. Good dog. The porcupine. Come on. Let's go. Come on.
There, wow. That went a long freaking ways. Holy crap, we are on completely the other side here. Give. Whoa.